Welcome back to our super simple farming game. We're a little robot and we can plant little seeds and we can water them and they eventually grow into carrots and we can pick the carrots and go over and sell them for gold here at the little store. Then we can buy more carrot seeds and plant those in the ground. But pretty soon we're gonna want to be able to kind of switch items and have some new stuff. So I was thinking in this episode, we would make a little hot bar. So I was thinking in this episode, we could make a little hot bar down here and we'll just make the beginning of it here, just so that we can kind of select different items and eventually have an inventory system that works really well. So the first thing let's do is draw the hot bar. So let's just make a new tab here and let's start by just drawing a rectangle down below. So you do that with rect fill and then the top left corner X would be, I don't know, like um, 30 and the top left corner Y would probably be like 120 maybe. Then the lower right corner is going to be, let's see, what's 128 minus 30, which would be 98. And then let's do 126 for the lower right Y. And then we need a fill color. Let's just say four for now. Now let's save and run. And now we have a little bar down here. Man, pretty much nailed that. That's pretty good. I think I might push it up just a few pixels though. So let's do that. Let's push this up. So let's just say push it up 10 pixels maybe. Save run. Yeah. So there's our little hot bar. I eh, probably don't want it quite that far. Let's say like six. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool little hot bar. That's in our inventory. And so we're gonna have items that just pop up there. So let's draw some items. And we're just gonna kind of mock this up first. And remember, Pico draws in order. And so if you want something on the bottom, you write it first, and then you can write something over that. So let's uh, draw a carrot here. So I'll just copy this carrot sprite over, but we want this to be at 30, 117, probably something like that. Maybe 31, 117. Let's see how that looks. Save run. Ooh, that's our, <laughs> I did this wrong. I changed the sprite number instead. So this is gonna be 30, 1, 1, 17. So it's just one more than this one and one more than this one. Let's see how that looks, save run. So yeah, there we have our little carrot there. We need our bar to be two pixels higher. And so let's just say 24 like this, run. Yeah, so there's a little carrot there. And again, we're just mocking this up. We're gonna do this in a little bit different way here, but we wanna see if we like this first. So let's let's draw our seeds. Let's put this eight over. So let's put this like 10 over, let's say. Something like that, 41, save run. Oh, 16 doesn't work. Let's do our seeds, which is 19. There we go, save run. There's our seeds right there, cool. And we'll just kind of copy this so that we can see everything, make sure we like it. Okay, so this is gonna be 51, 61, 71, 81, save run. Yeah, so now we have all of our little items down here in our inventory. Maybe we'll do one more, one more carrot, 91, save run. So something like that is what we're looking for. Now we're gonna do this a different way here probably in the next episode is uh, we're gonna actually have this, put these in here from an array, from a, uh, a table that holds all of our data for our inventory but it's always good to just kind of mock things up. And then we'll also have like a, a way to select things. And so let's draw that. Let's do a rectangle. And that's gonna be, let's just select the second one here. It's gonna be rectangle. It's gonna be 41, 117. And maybe it's gonna be like 40, 116. And then it's gonna be like eight or nine over probably. So 49 and then 123 maybe. And we're gonna pick a color for it. Let's make it this yellow color, color 10. And this might be sort of right. Hey, look, that's pretty good. So make this a little bigger. Let's do 125 and this will be at 50, save run. So now we have this little selection box and eventually we'll be able to hit a button and have this box kind of move in between the icons. So this is the really rough scuffed version of our hot bar, what we're gonna be building. If you're following along, see if you can get this to happen. And in the next episode, we'll actually make this function and work and be really nice. Hey, if you wanna learn Pico 8, I have a course, there's a link in the description below. It's called Pico 8 Noob to Pro. And we walk through making a game together. It's really fun if you're new to Pico 8, that is a great thing to check out. I also have a lot of other episodes of building this game. So if you're just coming in here, make sure to go back and watch that whole playlist. Okay, thanks for watching, happy farming.